in this lecture we will discuss about annex a controls let us first understand what are the annex a controls first let us try to understand how annex a controls are linked to iso 27001 standard so as per clause 613 of the standard organization should identify all the necessary controls to implement the risk treatment options and then compare these controls with those in annex a to ensure no important controls are missing so this is how annex a is linked to iso 27001 start now let us understand what is annex a so annex a provides total 93 controls that the organization need to implement to get the isms certified organizations implementing iso 27001 need to assess which controls out of 93 controls are relevant to their specific circumstances and apply them accordingly next question is we need to understand whether it is mandatory to implement all the 93 controls to get isms certified and your answer should be no it is not mandatory organization may exclude annex a controls that don't apply to them however organization is required to justify any exclusion in their statement of applicability so it is not mandatory to implement all the 93 controls provided they justify why particular controls are not applicable to them so question is how many controls annex a have we already answer this total 93 controls divided into four control areas and what are these control areas organizational controls people control physical and technological control so for organizational 37 people 8 physical related controls 40 and technological related controls 34 only 93 controls so i generally remember this as top technical organizational people and physical let us now discuss about organizational controls as we discussed earlier under organizational controls there are total 37 controls organizational controls includes policies rules processes procedures and organizational structure example of the organization controls include so one of the control requires that information security policies shall be defined approved by the management and communicated to the relevant personnel and other relevant parties one of the control requires that information security roles and responsibility shall be defined and allocated according to the organizational needs one of the control requires that conflicting duties and conflicting areas of responsibility shall be segregated also information relating to information security threats shall be collected and analyzed to produce the threat intelligence an inventory of the information and other associated assets including owners shall be developed and maintained so all the 37 such controls need to be implemented if applicable complete list of the controls is available for download from the resource section of the udemy we have also included detailed audit procedure to validate each of these control now let us discuss people related control within people control total 8 controls need to be implemented if applicable 
First control states that background verification checks on all the candidates should be conducted. It should be done prior to joining the organization and on an ongoing basis taking into consideration applicable laws, regulations and ethics. Second control states that the employment agreement shall state the employees and the organization's responsibilities for information security. Third control is about spreading awareness and training of information security. Fourth control is about having a well-defined and documented disciplinary process. As per fifth control, responsibilities and duties after the termination shall be defined, enforced and communicated to all the relevant personnel and other interested parties. So after termination, what should be the responsibilities? Sixth control is about having a confidentiality or non-disclosure agreement with relevant personnel and third parties. Seventh control is about having a documented policy about remote working. So when employees are working from remote places, what should be their controls available? Eighth control is about providing a mechanism to report security events through appropriate channels in a timely manner. We have prepared stepwise audit procedures to validate all these controls. You can download the same from the resource section of the Udemy. Let us now discuss about physical controls. Within physical controls, Total 14 controls need to be implemented. Few examples of physical controls are Secure areas shall be protected by appropriate entry controls to ensure that only authorized personnel are allowed. One more example Physical protection against the natural disaster, malicious attack or accident shall be designed and applied. One example can be firefighting arrangement in the data center or server room. Equipment shall be protected from environmental hazards, power failure and other disruptions. You may like to check the AMC arrangement for the critical equipment and appropriate environmental controls. Equipment, information or software shall not be taken off-site without appropriate authorization. You may like to verify few get pass to ensure the adherence. One more control, a clear desk and a clear screen policy for information processing facilities shall be adopted. So, you can check that no sensitive information or data is kept openly on desk or computer screen. You may like to verify few sample desk and computers. Complete list of controls is available for download from the resource section of the Udemy. We have also included detailed audit procedure to validate each of these controls. Let us now discuss technological related control. Within technological controls, total 34 controls need to be implemented if applicable. Few examples of technological controls are Access to the information assets shall be restricted in accordance with the established access control policy. Protection against malware shall be implemented along with appropriate user awareness. Organizations should gather information about technical vulnerabilities in their information system. They should assess how these vulnerabilities impact them and take suitable action to mitigate them. 
organization should apply data leakage prevention measures to all these systems data masking organization should use data masking according to the organization's access control policies business needs and relevant laws and regulations maintain and regularly test the backup copies of critical information as per approved backup policy protect and analyze the logs that record the sensitive activities and transactions the cloak of information processing systems used by the organization shall be synchronized to a common time zone so all the devices should have a single time element identify implement and monitor security mechanisms service levels and requirements for network related services rules for the effective use of cryptography including cryptographic key management shall be defined and implemented Secure coding principles shall be applied to the software development procedures. Total 34 such controls need to be implemented. Complete list of controls is available for download from the resource section of the Udemy. We have also included detailed audit procedure to validate such controls. That's all for this lecture. Thanks for watching.